In this video, I'll show you how you can connect your GoDaddy domain to Blogger. So I have a test blog here, which I'm going to connect a domain to, and I'm going to show you everything you need to know step by step. So first, what you need to do is go to Blogger, and once you, once you sign in, make sure you've got your blog here. So make sure you're on the back end of your actual blog. And then you want to go to settings. Once you're in settings, you can then change stuff about your blog. Now we want to scroll down here and we want to go to custom domain. So go ahead and click on custom domain and then this window will open. And now you need to enter in your custom domain. So on GoDaddy, I'm already logged in. So you would need to log into GoDaddy, then go to domain. And then once you're on your domain, you want to then go to manage DNS. Okay, so here is my domain that I'm going to connect. So knowledgebasehub.com. So we'll copy this domain. We'll then head over to Blogger. We'll type in www.knowledgebasehub.com and click save. Now this should bring up an error message where it says we have not been able to verify your authority to this domain, which is what we want to see. Uh, we now need to follow these instructions and enter two CNAME records. Now don't get confused that here it is very easy. So we're entering two CNAME records. The first one is going to be www. So name www. So highlight www, copy that. Then go to GoDaddy and you're on your DNS records already here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and delete any other CNAME records. So delete. So that one was deleted. The second CNAME we're also going to delete. Okay, so now we've done that, we're going to add a new record. We're going to choose type CNAME. We're going to then paste in www under name. Okay, so now we've got value and TTL, which we can leave on default. But value, go back to blogger, and it's going to tell you the destination, which is going to be value. So you want to copy this here ghs.google.com, copy that. Go to GoDaddy, paste in the value and click save. So that is the first CNAME record added. We now need to add another one, type CNAME, and we need to do this one more time. So here we've got and name, and then we can copy all of this. Make sure you copy all of it, all the way up to the comma. Okay, so now we can paste in this here. Now go back to blogger, destination, and then copy all of this here up to the end bracket. Copy. And again, this is just copy and paste, and it's very easy stuff, right? And then we can save this. Then it's going to update the DNS records. Now, once you've done that, you can click on save, and it may work. It may also not work. Now you notice here when you click save, it says could not update settings, try again. Now this is because these records don't automatically update. There is a delay. Now it can take up to 24, between up to 24 and 48 hours for this to be completely done. Now it might just take two minutes. Like as long as you've got these records successfully added, it might take a couple of minutes. So see, there you go, it just worked. So be patient and it will work. Now once you've done that, you then wanna click here where it says redirect domain, enable that, and HTTPS availability, enable that. So now I've done that, it should work. So now we can just copy this domain and we'll just try it out. Now it might not have updated 100% yet, but we'll paste in and see. And you can see it's currently not working. That's because we need to wait 24 to 48 hours. Another thing you can do if, you, if you're not patient enough is you can go to another web browser and sometimes it will work in another web, web browser. So right now it isn't, but I promise you just do what I've told you and it will work eventually within a day. I hope that helped you out. Leave a like if it did and I'll see you in the next one.